So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and we're in Columbia County today, kind of in northeastern Pennsylvania, and I'm on, way, on my way to Ricketts Glen State Park today, but I'm going to be stopping at a number of covered bridges on the way there. So our first one here is the Fowlersville Covered Bridge. You should be able to see it right back there. It's a little tiny one. So we're not too far from Berwick, Pennsylvania, and this is Briar Creek Park. There's some parking right here, and you can see the covered bridge right up there. I do have some pictures to share with you. I almost forgot about these. On a previous trip, I was up here in Columbia County, but I have some pictures of, of some of these bridges that were sent to me by a viewer. They were taken way back in 1987. So there you can see the covered bridge right there. And it looks very similar to what it does today, this here. So we're gonna head up there in a moment to Fowlersville Covered Bridge. And it was relocated here this spot. So let's go ahead and head up here. So this was built in 1887 and since it's a smaller bridge we're not going to have that uh, burr arch truss. I'll see if you can recognize. I'll let you guess first. It's a nice little park here. It's a beautiful day. It's only going to be in the 60s today. What is it? June, June, June 11th. It's beautiful. We're going to be able to get some nice shots of this one, too. Looks like they have some information. Yeah, some nice shots. So let's read. Oh, it's going to be difficult to read. Yeah, it mentions how we used to have over 1,500 covered bridges. Because remember, you can always pause the video to read all of it. Yeah, it was one of the last bridges built in the county. Originally crossed West Branch of Briar Creek near Fowlersville, which is not too far from here. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Yeah, there is Bridge Facts 1886. Well, I said 87, but... Oh, it says it right there when it is Queen Post. All right. <laughs> Yeah, the 30-foot span queen post. Oh, here it says 30. Across the west branch of Briar Creek, approximately three miles southwest of this site from 1886 to 1986. The bridge was moved to this site by the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation after new bridges. Kid just got done talking to that dude. He's, I guess he's here to build one of those disc golf courses here at the park. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, this says 30-foot. My notes say 40-foot, but that's always a problem with these covered bridges. The facts about them are always a little bit different from site to site. But yeah, it won't take long to walk across this one. So, yep, but the queen post, so the queen post, you have the this rectangular with the two diagonals, so it goes up, across, and down. You know, very similar to the king post. The king post has that center one. A similar design. Usually shorter ones are the king post or the queen post. So painted red on the inside too. Here we are all the way across. But yeah, beautiful park though, to be honest. Nice place to put this bridge. I mean, the, the roof is new. Not sure how original all the wood is, but Let's see if we can get some other shots over here. I hear some noise up there. The, I think they're working on the bathrooms up there. It's just the way it is. But yeah, look at all the picnic tables. They, they have those concrete picnic tables. Well, that one's missing some seats. <laughs> I guess the, the concrete ones don't rot, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Oh, here we, this, this is a shot right here. Look at this. That's a beautiful view. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get a view <laughs> underneath. There's no steel beams under here. It's not used for traffic anymore, but there's no way I'm getting, well, I guess, hold on a second here, we'll see. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like can kind of get underneath there. There you go. Actually, that does look like a, looks like a horizontal steel beam right there. Anyway, all right, here's the, the, the major river it crosses down here. Probably doesn't even have a name. All right. 
Yeah, so we're not gonna be able to drive across this one. Actually, you probably could. I mean, if you really, I'm not advising. I'm just saying, but you could, if you really wanted to, you could probably make your way across. I don't, I'm not suggesting it, but what's this over here? Oh, put even more signage. All right. Actually, we can get a view from over here too. This bridge is nice and this is very photogenic. He might, it might be small, but it's giving lots of opportunity for pictures. Yeah, Fowlersville. It's named after the local area here, which I think Fowler, I think it's a family name going back to the Revolutionary War era that lived in this area, so that's where the name comes from, the Fowlersville Covered Bridge. I think at one time it was actually located closer to Fowlersville, but like I said, it was moved here, thankfully, instead of being destroyed. Although this one's not too big, so it's probably a little bit easier to move. I feel like you just lift this one up onto the back of a big truck and move it. I like some of the bigger ones, which are a lot harder to move. All right, let's go ahead and take one more walk across. A little bit of graffiti on some spots, but oh yeah, there's some more in there. So, I mean, it's at a park, so you're gonna get that. All right, just a cute little photogenic covered bridge here. Fowlersville Covered Bridge. One more look down through. Yeah, but once again, here's that picture from 1987. Doesn't really look much different than it does today. A little bit, the paint's a little bit more worn off, but very similar. But that'll be it for this video then, folks. Obviously, we're not gonna drive across this one, even though, like I said, you probably could get away with it. I mean, for a moment, until you get arrested for post posting it on YouTube. Anyway, so we won't be driving across this one. But I think, I think I got five more covered bridges five or six more I'm going to visit on my way up to Ricketts Glen. I'll probably upload these a little bit out of order for my regular videos. We'll see what happens. But anyway, so yeah, there you go. Where are we? Where is it? <laughs> oh yeah, it's right behind my head. <laughs> Fowler's Hollow Covered Bridge. So always folks, thanks for coming along and hopefully we see you on the next one.